Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Brave Star for the ZX Spectrum. I'm playing another ZX Spectrum game this time around. Apparently, since I had so much fun with Robocop, I decided, what else is there? And I could probably test my gaming metal. And a while back, I found out that there was a Brave Star game for the ZX Spectrum. For those of you who have never heard of Brave Star, it's one of those cartoons from the 1980s from the creators of He-Man and She-Ra Filmation. Well, the people who brought it to you, anyway. And I hear far more about He-Man and She-Ra than I hear about Brave Star, which is a shame because I kind of like the premise of it. The titular character Brave Star is this Native American cowboy. Props to doing a Native American cowboy in the 1980s, by the way. In the far flung future, in a colonized planet known as New Texas. There, he's got to stop bad guys and kind of protect the town, which is very much a futuristic version of the Wild West, as seen in the 1980s. So. That's pretty much the premise of the television show. And that's definitely what we're going to do here. We have a joystick. We have a fire button. The joystick moves. The fire button fires because we got a gun. It's pretty obvious that Brave Star has a gun. And we're going to press the fire button to start the game. So we're now in this town. There are three places in the town we can go to. There's a jail, which we can't do anything in. There's a bar, which we can't do anything in because we don't have money. We have to get information in exchange for money at the bar. And there's the exchange, which you have to trade stuff in to get money. Now, I started off by walking to the left and getting onto my space saddle. Press down on it, a mouse cursor will pop up on the map on the upper left hand corner of the screen. I had to move it to that thing to the left of the city. That city in the corner is where we start the game and to the left is Shaman's Hut. Shaman is a good friend and close personal ally of Brave Star. And in this game, Shaman has been kidnapped by Tex Hex. And a bad guy whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. And we gotta save Shaman before eight days are up. Besides the map in the upper left, we have a few things in the upper right hand corner. We have our score as well as the amount of time we have. Eight is the number of days, 12 is the number of hours in the day we have left. As we get hit, we will take damage. As we die, we lose even more time. We went into the cage just by going left. Let's use the joystick and press the fire button on examine. And we'll find out that there's a green stone from the prairie mines and signs of a struggle. We've also unlocked the prairie mines. So let's go ahead and leave, go back to the space shuttle, or the space saddle rather, press down, and we're gonna move it right here to the prairie mines because we're gonna find more clues there. As you go through the game, you will find more places and you're gonna have to explore every single one of them if you want to wrestle, or rather rescue, shaman. Don't know why I said wrestle. So here we are at the prairie mines, and there are people here. Let's examine. The pe prairie people are bound and gagged. We will untie them. They are grateful. I am pretty sure they are. Let's go ahead and talk to them. The prairie people tell Brave Star that Tex Hex stole their magical curium so he could send her star peak and capture Shaman. All right, let's go ahead and leave. And now that we have the curium stone, we can go to the exchange. Exchange that for money spend the money at the bar and then we can get some information now all this time I've been firing at enemies and sometimes enemies have been leaving little sparkles or squares whenever you pick up a sparkle or a square the word stop will appear next to the amount of time you have left this means that time will stop stop moving for as long as the word stop is on the screen as long as stop is on the screen the the timer will not slowly tick down and you will not see the sun 
rise and set and rise and set and rise and set over and over. You definitely want to keep an eye on that timer because you can run out. There's a jail. We don't want to go to the jail. I am just charging my way through here just to try to take as little damage as possible. And the more damage you take, the more the screen around the gameplay screen is going to flash. And the more time, the faster time is going to tick down. Let's go ahead and talk. Will you change Kieran for money? Yes, we will. We now have some money. Press fire, press leave. You know, whenever you get, get text, you can just get out of it with the fire button. So that way you can make decisions again. I should mention that. And we need to make our way back to the exchange while taking out as taking as little damage as possible. And we're going to have a lot of enemies on our on our heels. These guys who just jump around, these other evil cowboys who want to kill us, these prairie dogs who are always crawling across the ground that we have to duck in order to shoot at. And now we're at the bar. Let's go ahead and talk. Are you willing to pay for information? Yes. There are rumors that Tex Hex was seen in Dead Rock. It is now in the upper, or rather the lower right hand corner of, of the place here. And guess what? We have to go to that miserable, decrepit place. So let's go ahead and get it back on the space saddle by pressing down. And select our newfound location on the map there. By the way, in order to enter doors, you just press down while you're in front of them. And then from there, you can examine and talk to people and then leave. As for entering the where it's Shaman's Hut and the Kyrian Mine, we just had to walk into it. But the jail, the bar, and the exchange, you have to press down in front of the door, in front of the front door, or rather the only door to it, in order to enter them. And this is where the game suddenly gets hard. This is where you really start running out of time, and the enemies get a little harder to deal with. They get a little more numerous. They get a, get a little more dirt baggy. And you definitely want to take as little health as little damage as possible. I'm trying not to fight enemies, but as you can see, isn't that isn't always possible to do, and sometimes I may have to fight them. Now here, we need to just keep jumping to the right as much as we possibly can. If we can get some time stoppage going on, so much the better. And yeah, you do not want to turn into a gravestone. You will be stunned for a few seconds. You will lose quite a bit of time. Dying stinks in this game. Try to do it as little as you can. And I shouldn't even have tried to fight those guys. But you know what? They gave me some time stops. It's all good. And even if you die while time is stopped... You don't have to worry about losing a lot of time all that much, which is good. And I know that demons are firing at me. I forgot to talk about those guys and the tumbleweeds. Those things are just tumbling around everywhere. And I am just lucking out really well on destroying enemies and just not having a super horrible time. And this guy with no sleeves is Tex Hex. When you see him, you just want to keep ducking and firing, trying to make sure he doesn't move into you. And I believe he's gone. I believe he's now dead. Sometimes he just disappears before he dies just by walk going off screen. Sometimes he doesn't. I'm going to go to the jail in order to be sure. Game. I don't want stop stop killing me, game. Yeah, you just want to beat feet and just vamoose when you're in these th when you're at this point in the game because getting through here can be a bit of a pain. And I know I'm going to get shot at repeatedly 
Come on. I don't want to die. Come on, game. I know I'm getting some time power-ups from these folks, but come on. And now, yeah, these guys are now giving me a hard time. A little bit. Where is the space saddle? Where is it? I can't be that far away from it. There it is. Let's get back to town. Pronto. And it's a good thing I'm firing off all these projectiles. It should make it a little easier to get through here. I hate it when these devils, these demon enemies that fire at you constantly, come at you from behind. And you can't get past them. You can't get behind them and kill them. The game just does not allow for that. Which is a pain in the butt. And now we're over here. We're now on the right side of the place. First thing we need to do is just hightail it straight to the jail. I know this sounds like more like a one credit classics video than an actual let's play, but I have all these things to do and I can't really stop to explain stuff. You just kind of have to watch me and see if you can do better. Like, that's really all I can say. Texx did get killed. Will you release Texx in for information about Shaman? Yes, we will. Shaman is being held captive in Hexagon. We are now in the final area of the game. Let's beat feet. Come on. We're getting plenty of time. We've got three days left. I know it seems like you have enough time in the, in the, in the world to beat this game, but really you don't. Especially when you get hit a heck of a lot in this game. All those hits really do add up, and you really want to die as little as possible. You want to get all of those time power-ups. And right here, upper right-hand corner, that's where the hexagon is. We need to just not get hit a whole bunch as we do things. I am staying up here. Please, game. Please be merciful and give me the time and the patience and the... I don't know why I'm asking for the game for patience. I should be asking myself for patience, but I really hope I have the patience and the time and the... Just... The focus to beat this. Because where we fought Tex Hex, that area makes or breaks runs. And there is the final bad guy of the game. We need to back up a little bit we need to like do this thing called not dying we need to do this thing called backing away and shooting the major bad guy here hey why are you teleporting like that not cool yeah he's just staying up there which is good for me and I don't know why you're teleporting oh my lord did the game die um, wow, um, what the, what, <laughs> the game died, the game just crashed, are you kidding me? Oh, that is wonderful. Wow. Um. Oh, my gosh. W I did not expect this. I'm going to have to do all this over. The game died. I think the game died. I don't think there's any anything that you know freezes the game I don't know of any f it's obviously not frozen because the timer's still going the game died it just crashed I crashed a micro game yeah it's the timer's still going 
Hold on, guys. All right. Okay. Hopefully with any luck, I should be able to get somewhere now. Though I don't like my chances because I have far less time than I did on my first attempt. I hope I can get to where I need to go soon, or where I need to be soon. There we go. And if I could get through this without getting shot, that would be great. Awesome. Excellent. Come on. Don't know why the game is glitching out again now. Please, uh, please don't do this to me. Oh my gosh, game. Game. I really want to win this. Oh, come on. I only have like 16 hours left. I don't have a lot of time. And this... And the final boss just keeps wanting to... Just do that. Just lower itself towards me. I don't want to be shot at. Please don't shoot at me. Game. I do not want to be shot at right now. There we go! Finally! And we kind of didn't really see that message, but it tells you, hey, you saved Shaman from the evil ultimate bad guy of the game. Great job. And then you put in your high score. Really not much of an ending. It's kind of hard to see that final... That final ending message, but it is there. And once we put in our high score... That is it. I can't believe I beat ga beat Brave Star on camera. It took two attempts. And I was really scared on the second attempt. Because I had no idea if I was going to be able to do it or not. Suddenly because I had so little time. I was getting time from, I think, shooting the final boss's projectiles. But it was still kind of touch and go, and I managed to pull it off, and there it is. One credit is advertised because, well, you only have one life for this game. You only have one chance to beat this whole game, and if you don't do it, you have to start all over again. Took me two attempts because the game crashed on me the first time. I never expected a Spectrum game to do that to me, but there we go. But... We did it. We beat Bravesar and ZX Spectrum. So, how does this game stack up? I like the fact you can see what you're doing for the most part in the game. The enemies do tend to b blend in with stuff in the background, though that's kind of par for the course for virtually any Spectrum game that uses colored backgrounds like this one. I mean, they try to. They they did the best that they could with the technology that the Spectrum had, with the specs that the spec Spectrum had. Not much of a lot of sound. There's just a lot of staticky stuff to go along to go along with the flashing lights whenever you take like all that damage you're going to take throughout the game. And of course, you have this song that plays at the beginning and at the end of the game once you're back on the title screen. I should probably turn my fan down now. Play control, it's pretty basic. You just use the control pad to jump with up, move left and right with left and right, and enter buildings with down. And you use the fire button to fire your gun. And once you've managed to beat this game, there's not really much of a reason to beat it again unless you want to challenge yourself, which is... 
be even more of a challenge than you would want to think it is because you will get swamped with enemies and you're just going to try not to get shot all the time and just get through all these areas as quickly as you can and as and with little trouble as you can. I've noticed throughout playing all the way back to the final boss fight that if you get shot with like an enemy projectile, you will definitely die a lot faster and be stunned for a couple of hours or a couple of seconds rather. They're both kind of the same thing. Basically you're far more likely to lose a whole chunk of time from enemy projectiles than actually just having the enemies touch you over and over. You definitely don't want to get shot in this game. I know that. And that is pretty much all that there is to say about Brave Star for the ZX Spectrum. Hopefully I'll be back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who knows? Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.